Hello everybody, it's JC with Fixture 6. What I'm going to show now is the basic installation of the oil cooler back flush valve onto the oil cooler housing. This is assuming a, a bench install, or in this case tailgate. And all that's really required is to remove two bolts, remove this factory cap, take the oil cooler housing, valve housing, um, install the gasket that chips with it, put a little coolant, a little ELC coolant that I'm sure everybody has switched over to, lubricate the gasket <coughs> with, some, with some coolant, install it on the oil cooler housing, replace the two bolts, and um, you're ready to either go down the road or back flush your oil cooler. So, real quick demonstration. These two bolts are T30s or 532nd Allen wrench will work. Just back those two out. Hang on to the bolts because you're going to be reusing them. It's not a real tight bolt. I think it's 85 inch pounds. So take the cap off. Should have the gasket installed. Just put this away in your toolbox. Again, the new oil cooler back flush valve. Install the O-ring gasket. Install some coolant on it. Position. Same two bolts that you just took out. And all of this I suggest to do with hand tools as opposed to power tools. It's only two bolts. <coughs> Don't want to strip anything out here the aluminum and the housing with the steel bolts. So I run those two back down. They don't have to be real tight because the most pressure that this sees somewhere between <coughs> 8 10 pounds. I mean if you, the head gasket situation is going on you might get up to the 15, 16 when the cap lets go. And that's the installation. Now obviously it's a whole lot easier to do this on a bench than in the truck. If you're going to install it in place, my suggestion is to use the 532nds Allen. Th this bolt you can get to with a swivel socket. The one in the back is the most difficult because it's just the turbocharger sits up on top. So that's where the 532nd Allen comes in handy. I've also <laughs> put together a little tool that helps out tremendously. And I just have a quarter inch drive ratchet wrench, a T30 head that I've uh, run through about halfway, put a piece of paper to hold it in place. And then what you can do is position that head on that bolt and yep, position it. And then holding one finger on, you can back this out or tighten it up depending on which way you're going. And it makes the installation, removal and installation of that back bolt much, much easier. The good thing is you only have to do it one time. Whereas if you're trying to back flush by taking this cap on and off, in my case I put this on, took it off three times, four times, and it gets really frustrating and tedious. So that was really the motivation for me to develop this whole valve assembly was to make the back flush procedure that much quicker. So once the valve's in place, the operation of it is you'll drain about a couple of gallons of coolant out the front, out the radiator, bottom radiator hose, take off the cap, run the valve portion of it down as far as it'll go, snug it up by hand, take one of those short handled inch and a half wrenches and Snug it up maybe another eighth inch turn, <coughs> and then you're ready to install the hose onto these threads. Now, what I've found is that, again, due to constriction in the engine compartment, it's a lot easier to put together some Home Depot, Lowe's parts. Now, what I have here is a 90 degree hose fitting and then a 45 degree hose fitting. You can use two 90s, but I found that the the 90 and the 45 just give you a better angle in terms of putting the hose on. So this piece attaches directly to the valve threads. And 
again, things don't have to be super tight because it's just going to be water running down through here. Now you're going to take a swivel. It's, uh, it's a garden hose fitting again at Home Depot, one of those stores, female to female. Make sure your gaskets are in place. It gets attached. Attach a short section of garden hose. to that assembly, attach your sprayer, and I like this pistol type because you can, you can squeeze it and kind of create a surge of pressure and flow while you're back flushing. So your sprayer is attached, or you can attach the hose directly to it, but again I like to have some control over it. And then here you'll attach your garden hose. And Again, the, the bottom radiator hose is open, the valve is in place, your hose is hooked up. Just start adding water to it, surge it, and let, let uh, the water run as, as long as you see debris coming out. 